What is gum disease and why is it so dangerous? Why is it something that you should be aware of? I'm Dr. Katranji and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about gum disease and what you can do about it. So another term, another name for gum disease is periodontitis or periodontal disease. Periodontal disease is the advanced form of gingivitis. If you think of gingivitis, what happens is, is your gums start to swell up. Why are they swelling up? Let's say you have a few meals and you don't brush your teeth and for a few days, your tissue is just accumulating this plaque. All that food debris that's occurring starts to create a little response from your gum tissue. If you continue to allow that swelling to occur, more and more bacteria is gonna accumulate and create problems for you. This is when you start to see periodontal disease. Periodontal disease is when it moves past the gums and into your bone. Periodontal disease is an infection. It's inflammation, it's a problem that starts to occur as you let that bacteria accumulate around your teeth. What's gonna happen is you're gonna lose bone. And as you lose bone, you create these pockets around your teeth. If you've been to the dentist, a lot of times they start poking around your teeth and you say, okay, what are they, what are they doing? What are these numbers? Well, the numbers are a measurement of where the gum tissue is in relationship to the bone. As periodontal disease progresses, the bone starts to resorb and you get more and more deep pockets. And these pockets harbor different types of bacteria. That environment we call anaerobic. Anaerobic means the lack of oxygen. If you think about it, bacteria that can live in an environment that has no oxygen are very aggressive bacteria. And this bacteria we call tissue invasive bacteria. This bacteria gets not only into the pockets, they actually eat through the gum tissue, get into the bone, get to the bloodstream, the bloodstream goes to your heart and your heart pumps it everywhere else. If you've ever heard there's a link between your oral health and your systemic health, the rest of your body, that is where it starts. It starts with those deep pockets and that very aggressive bacteria that find its way into the bloodstream. Many times we have patients who have surgeries scheduled and their doctors, their orthopedic surgeons will send them to us first so that we can first make sure that there's no infections in their mouth. The surgeons are worried that the bacteria in their mouth is gonna find its way to their knee or to their hip or wherever they're going to have their surgeries. This is very dangerous for patients who are gonna have hip replacement surgery or, or knee replacement surgery because that bacteria that's really starting off in your mouth can find its way all the way to your knee or to your hip. When it's floating around your body, it's invading the different parts of your body. For instance, there's a lot of studies that show periodontal disease has a direct impact on cardiovascular disease, neurological diseases, cancers, just about anything that can, can be related to inflammation, swelling in your tissue, really comes back to or can be associated with periodontal disease in your mouth. A lot of people who have diabetes, for instance, have a very difficult time controlling their blood glucose, their A1C levels, many times because they have chronic periodontal disease. Again, periodontal disease is a chronic infection. A chronic infection is really bad and dangerous for a lot of patients who have uh, diabetes, especially if their diabetes control is uncontrollable. Many times we'll see patients after periodontal treatment we see their A1C levels go down. Their treatment for gum disease actually helps treat their diabetes. And this is true for many other parts of your body. Recently, what's become very well known is the link between your oral health and your brain. Now, a lot of times you'll see the bacteria floating around and because it can invade tissue, it can actually cross over what we call the blood-brain barrier. That barrier, is very, very protective of your brain and your neurologic functions. If that bacteria from your gums can get there and find its way there and repopulate into that area, many times we'll see people who have susceptibility to disease go over and kind of go tip over to the line of having the disease. So we are definitely worried, not just of, your, of our mouth, but our whole body. So just remember, if somebody tells you you have gum disease, Rest assured, there's ways to treat it. So don't worry, come and see us. We're happy to help you, move you from having that disease to eliminating the disease and making sure that we save your teeth and get your whole body, your whole system healthy again. Thanks again for watching. 
We can't wait to, to do more of these videos. If you have any questions, any topics you want us to discuss, please put it down in the chat. We'll be, we'll be happy to, to answer any of your questions. And thank you very much for your time. Restore your smile and your health. Schedule your appointment today.